All right, here is a full walkthrough of Gargoyle's Maze. Maze can be located over here on the map. When you get to this location, you will talk to this Gargoyle statue and he will tell you who, actually he will ask you who you are. To get to that uh, area, you can use these vines over here. You will climb and then get to gargoyle statue head. He will ask you who you are. Be honest. Or if you have necromancer ring, you will immediately be transported into Bracus Rex throne room or whatever. But most of us won't have that necromancer ring by now. I have no idea how to get one. So if you know how to get one, please post in comments. I didn't get to that part yet. Anyway, the point of this maze is to get these crumbling skulls that unlock doors and you need to use them in proper order in uh, for proper doors that way you will be able to finish the whole maze without having to worry about not having enough skulls to visit every single room these vines are here for you can say it's here for a reason, but it's really not. Why? Well, because of this. You can just use gloves of teleportation to teleport your party member here, for example. Either way, now we are here and we will go through this hatch. I see a trap nearby. I would suggest that you completely unchain your party because this will get tricky. Use one party member. Now. That's trap. Avoid the traps because everything will start burning and you can't douse these flames with rain. It's I think necrofire or something like that. Or actually sorry, it's the traps fault, not necrofire. It's impossible to take care all of all of the fire and fire surfaces and oil surfaces, so don't even bother with it. These are traps here that you can disarm, but there's no need. I will show you how to get this done without any issues. You're just gonna have to be careful. Avoid the traps and you'll be fine. Actually, I will use the dwarf because he's got gloves of teleportation. This chair here, you can sit in it and you will get tortured. I don't think it's a good idea to sit in it. I haven't found any use whatsoever for that chair. So I'm just going to leave it be. There's also a small rat in here that you can bring back to his lying form. He has a curse that makes him only tell the truth all the freaking time. Just watch that you do not teleport this reinforced crate on top of the rat, otherwise you will kill him. That happened to me after I started recording this maze for the first time. I was so pissed off. Got to this point and had to do it all over again. Anyway, we shall wait for the teleportation to wear off. And you can throw it here. One more way to use this crate is through telekinesis. You can move it with telekinesis, but with strength you're going to need, I don't know how huge number in strength attribute. Careful now, that's a trap. Take this crumbling skull that just appeared. Use gloves of teleportation again. Ah, you idiot. And teleport this chest right next to you. Loot the bastard. And now I'm going to show you what to do with the bloody rat. You're going to need Pet Pal to talk to him. Give up, boss. I'll throw you know the answer to that. 
So you need to use magic on the right. One way to use it is through let's let's try this actually. I don't know what works, what doesn't work. Did this work? We shall see now. There we go. The rat gives you a mischievous look. What? Yeah, it worked, it worked. He got me there, I did not see this coming. I don't know what this will do, to be honest. So anyway, you've now done a good deed, because I don't know what else this brings you in terms of reward. Now what we will do is this. Oops, you will teleport this crate in this location over here, this reinforced crate, or move it with telekinesis, up to you. It needs to block the path for the flames to hit this area. Now that you've done that, you can remove your person from this platform and put something else if you wanted to. You don't need to really, because you don't need to go here anymore. Anyway, we will now go over here. Just be careful of another traps here, because you don't have solution for this yet. Chain your guys together. You will use crumbling skull to unlock these doors. So what you want to do now is go over here. There is another crumbling skull. Pick it up. Some loot can be found if you go to this location here. If you use this statue, it will teleport you right at the entrance of this gargoyle maze. So I would suggest leave it be for now. There's some bug with chaining and unchaining people because it, so it works sometimes. Sometimes the others won't follow you. It's really annoying to deal with it. I did this fight like this, went in with my tankiest character and put down Dome of Protection. One more thing you can do is use teleportation and teleport this annoying marksman next to you and then DPS him down fast. Rain is useless for the area around these skeletons because they constantly burn for some reason. So you won't be able to extinguish fire completely here. And they heal from fire as well, but they are very vulnerable to ice. So ice spells are really good. Anyway, enjoy the fight and let's continue. Now we need to deal with this guy. You need bless spell. It's part of the story progression. And you need blood. Currently, I do not have any kind of blood spells. It's part of the necromancy tree, but I have another solution which I've covered already in another video. So if you haven't watched that one, I will now show it one more time. Teleport human party member over here. And then shoot that party member so that it bleeds next to this guy that's in flames and you can see that the blood doused the flame what you need to do now is this use bless if you do not have source points there is a source point pool over here that you just need to step in And there you go. You, released me. you will see now that these summoned doors have appeared. You can use this gargoyle skull that will teleport you to a specific location. That will give you one more crumbling skull. Go into this area. 
And there will be a chest. Let's continue. So we currently have one crumbling skull, two crumbling skulls. More than enough to get everything that we need. We will open these iron doors. And now there's another portal over here. But leave one person. One that does not have gloves of teleportation on them. And put them over here. Another crumbling skull just appeared. The rest of the bastards should use this portal. And now you can use the teleportation to reach this edge over here. There's a Dwarven Dagger as well. And Blank Skill Book Fire. Again, teleport back. And move into this direction. That will automatically te teleport you to this location. Master would be impressed. That means we've done everything correctly, I believe. You can go back here. Some money as a reward for our hard work. Sorry if my English is bad at the moment. I mean, it's usually bad, but not like this. I'm really tired. Can't wait to go to bed, but I wanted to finish this. Or you can go back into the portal. And you will be transported over here. Use the vines. Get back over here. And you're now at the beginning. It seems like we actually did finish properly this maze because we received a reward. Up to you what you want. Let's go inside. If you want you can use this source pool to get source point. It's always a good idea to do that. No matter what you do, you're gonna have to get the key from skeletons to advance further beyond these doors. You can kill them or you can try to steal their key. I don't know which one of these has the key, but I like killing stuff so I will kill them. You can ha you can position one of your archers on the high ground that will give them high ground boost to make your life easier. And you can also start the battle on your own way through sneaking and backstabbing criticals and whatnot. Here is the key. Loot it. And then you can go past these doors. You can't do anything about the fate worse than that quest at the moment. That quest is solved in mysterious caverns when you destroy the soul jars at the last room. But now let's focus on this. I will cover mysterious caverns in the next video probably. Go to this location. Use your teleportation skill. Is the safest way to do this. Remove this crate. Use the sewer system or whatever it is. Now here you'll see a lot of things you can loot. 
The thing that you need to do is use this lever. That way... These doors will open and fireballs will stop shooting. This is trapped. If you want to get rid of these traps, you can teleport this metal crate to this location and every, everything will trigger. But the fact of the matter is you don't have to. There is this area where you can loot some stuff. Shine of the Seven will just make you sleep. What that does, no bloody idea what kind of uh, purpose that serves. Here you can load this picture. There's a puzzle with the well over here. Very simple one that can give you a nice belt. An epic one. The only thing that you need to do is summon rain. Talk to the bastards. We thank you for the water, the horror, the king, wrath, and so we thank you for the defense. They will ask you for a toll so that they can be buried. For the most generous donation of 150 gold coins, you will get. Well, actually, it's a random drop. Before I got a belt, now I got forged in fire ring. Let's see what that ring does. A pretty damn good one. Now let's cover the tombs. To get into these tombs you need source points. I think that there was one pool of source over here. If I'm not mistaken, you can find one in Gargoyle's maze if not anywhere else. But also when you use this, if you're done, if you have done Wittermore's quest, he will appear here and you can accept the offer, that way you can enter the tomb. I believe you can also enter by simply using your own source points. Though I can't check that out at the moment, cause, well, this is how it goes for me automatically. If you don't know how to do Lord Wittermore's quest, please check out my guide for that, it will explain everything. Alright, now how to open these bloody tombs. Too heavy. It's too heavy, you need strength of 20 to do it. Right now with this character I have strength 15 which is nowhere near enough. So I will buff that up, equip some of the items that will give me more strength, just like that. Now it's 18, let's try with 18. Oh, actually it works with 18. Brilliant. I thought he, I thought you needed 20. You can also do it with buffs. And here you will receive Hands of the Tyrant, the second piece of Tyrant set. The buff that I'm talking about is Peace of Mind. It gives you 2 strength and you can also use Encourage that will give you 1 strength bonus. There you go lads, everything has been finished, now all that remains for me is to loot everything else. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.